But also it's important to understand why the Juniper Cloud Metro portfolio is very well suited for meeting these uh, demands, but also in particular to 5G network uh, innovation, but right. also builds and scaling and so forth. And so this is an opportunity to take a snapshot of the Juniper Cloud Metro portfolio and, and the areas where it excels. I think, first of all, we have to have a portfolio that is purpose-built and purpose-developed to support sustainable operations. And that right. includes automation capabilities. We, I think, understand that automation is going to be critical to enable uh, scaling at these massive levels. There's just no way around it. You cannot do it with manual legacy approaches. And that has to be combined with AI-enabled engines, that is, uh, using AI to assure that you know uh, what is going on with the network, but also to be able to proactively respond to emerging, say, security threats, or to be able to assign distributed workloads on the most intelligent, real-time basis. And then finally, taking advantage of all these cloud capabilities, that is, as a service flexibility that many uh, organizations appreciate when it comes to, for example, meeting time to market challenges and so forth. But it's not just about sustainable operations, it's about sustainable systems. And I, I see like the ACX 7000 family that Juniper offers really addresses this all the way from uh, the low end to the high end in terms of meeting sustainable systems demands. Right. For example, we have the ACX 7024 a pizza box type solution that meets, uh, for example, small business uh, requirements or, you know, branch office requirements and other right. important requirements. It just depends on what the customer needs. Certainly when it comes to the CSP, they want to be able to use these types of products to meet a broader array of customers. But also right. at the high end, you have the new ACK 7908 product that it can meet all of these intense scaling demands on a flexible, agile basis with security assurances. And so this is, I think, reinforcing the ability for Juniper to meet sustainable architecture needs. So I see uh, that they've done a lot of good work in terms of investing in, for example, IP services fabric capabilities, mm -hmm. which are important for hybrid cloud and multi-cloud implementations, but also integrating that with embedded service assurance and built-in zero trust security. That's and my so favorite what is, part. <laughs> built yes. in zero trust security, baked in security. <laughs> it's my favorite part of any equation. Exactly. Amen. It's and so what is different here is it has to be native. It has to be yeah. built in. We can't yeah. no longer depend on solutions that are you know more uh, bolted in or only applicable to specific applications, uh, specific networks, and so forth. It really has to be uh, based on this IP services fabric approach. So these are, I think, are you know, key characteristics that distinguish the Juniper portfolio, but more importantly, uh, differentiate it from competing solutions. I agree, absolutely.